is Cracking It All. Today we're gonna to talk about simplicity in training. It's something that a lot of people struggle with, whether they know it or not. So here's a few things to do to make a training program simple and easy to understand. It's not everything, but it'll get you going on the right foot. First thing that you wanna do is set the right learning atmosphere. If you present a skill set as being really challenging or almost borderline unattainable, people are gonna go into it with that mentality and it's gonna be really hard for them to learn. This is something that happened to me when I first started to learn how to make espresso. People always said, it's super hard, it's really complex, there's a lot of little things, really complicated. And the bad thing about this is that it puts people in a defeated mindset before they even get going. It lets them know they're gonna be fighting an uphill battle and it's not gonna make learning very fun or effective. And for training to really be effective, people need to feel empowered. So let them know that the skill set that they're working on is easily attainable. It's one of the first slides in our espresso theory class. It literally says espresso is easy. And the first day they have hands-on espresso class, we let them know that, hey, by the end of the day, you're going to be making totally amazing shots that are on par with people who've been baristas for years. The results that I've seen since switching to this mindset have been amazing. And it's not like you're fabricating a story. Let's be honest. Making espresso is probably the easiest part of being a barista. The second thing to remember is that it's not about you, it's about your trainees. A goal that you have as a trainer is to make sure that your trainees have the most possible progress in the smallest possible time. The goal when you're doing a training is not to show off how much you know about coffee. It's nice that you know those things and it gives depth to your skill set but it's not really relevant for most beginning trainees. In my experience, a lot of this comes from a lack of confidence or a little bit of insecurity, and it happened to me as well. And a thing that you can do to fix this is just make a mindset switch. The fact that you've been put in a position to lead education shows that someone values your skill set and sees your expertise. And this should make you happy, you should be proud of that. So pat yourself on the back, check your ego at the door, and focus on making everyone else that's in the room with you into a full-blown badass. Third thing to remember is, Understanding the why is important, but it's not necessary to understand all of the whys right away. So to be an expert and really master your craft, you need to understand the why behind everything that you do. But if you're a beginner, too much theory, too many whys can lead to mental overload and can actually slow the learning process down. And for things that are hands-on, like pulling espresso or roasting coffee, some level of familiarity with the equipment is necessary before those whys even start to matter anyway. It's completely unnecessary for someone who's just learning how to make espresso to need to know anything about water quality, brew water pressure, brew water temperature, TDS, etc. if they can't tamp consistently and correctly or don't understand the importance of getting an even extraction. Those other things just don't matter. This TMI phenomenon is even more apparent in teaching roasting. A tiny snippet of theory is necessary to get things going, but until your trainee can accurately follow a roast curve, feels comfortable adjusting the gas, feels comfortable adjusting the airflow, all that extra theory in the world is useless because you have to be able to control your machine before you can see the results of that theory. At the end of the day, yes, you need to teach the whys, but you need to teach them at the right time. There's an Einstein quote that sums up this idea and he says, if you can't explain it simply, you don't understand it well enough and I believe this fully and I apply it to all of my trainings. So those are just a few ideas I use when I'm building training modules or training programs and they should get you going in the right direction. To wrap it up, I'd say that if you're not sure on how to structure your training, I default to the less is more mentality. You can always add trainings and layer knowledge, but it's much harder to undo the confusion and doubt that comes with too much information too early in the game. Right, I hope this helps. Have a good week, y'all. Stay dialed, and I will catch you on the flip side. Peace.